Today's topic is ulcer. Ulcers are painful sores that are present in the protective lining of the digestive tract in humans. The digestive tract is made up of the mouth, esophagus, stomach, duodenum, and the intestine. Ulcers are relatively easy to treat, but can cause problems if left untreated. Peptic ulcers are the most common ulcer types. Peptic ulcers are associated with the presence of pepsin, a substance found in the digestive system, along with hydrochloric acid in the stomach lining. Peptic ulcers are of three types and are named for their location in the body. A peptic ulcer that is present in the stomach is known as gastric ulcer. If the peptic ulcer is in the duodenum, it is referred to as duodenal ulcer. A peptic ulcer that forms in the esophagus is called esophageal ulcer. Other lesser-known types of ulcer are stress ulcer that is found in critically ill or intensely stressed patients, bleeding ulcer, a peptic ulcer that has been left untreated can result in internal bleeding. Internal bleeding is a very critical matter and may require urgent medical attention. This is the most dangerous of all ulcers and, if left unattended, can lead to severe consequences. A refractory ulcer is a term used to describe a peptic ulcer that is not healed over a period of time. Causes. An ulcer is formed when the mucus layer protecting the tissues of the body against digestive juices or acid breaks down or wears out. This breakdown may be as a result of Helicobacter pylori, a bacteria that causes stomach infection and inflammation. Frequent use of aspirin, ibuprofen, and other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs. Smoking. Stomach cancer radiation therapy, excessive alcohol intake, excessive stomach acid secretion. Diagnosis. Diagnosing ulcer will depend on your symptoms and intensity of the ulcer. Your doctor will request for your medical history and review it and follow on your symptoms by asking questions about how the pain feels, how frequent it is, how long it lasts, and any medications you are taking. A blood stool or breath test may be ordered to check for infections in your stomach caused by a Helicobacter pylori bacteria. In case of more serious symptoms, like bleeding, other tests may be required. An upper endoscopy, where a thin tube with a camera is inserted and passed down your throat into your stomach and small intestines to visualize and examine the area for ulcers. Upper gastrointestinal test, or upper GI. In this procedure, you will drink a thick white liquid called barium that coats your upper gastrointestinal tract and makes it possible for your doctor to view and treat the ulcer on x-rays. This procedure is also referred to as barium swallow. Symptoms. Abdominal pain that starts between meals or at night is relieved after the use of antacids that lasts for a few minutes or hours. Discomfort after meals. Heartburn. Bad breath. Constipation. Abnormal weight loss. Nausea and vomiting. Unusual headaches. Sleep problems. Changes in appetite. Indigestion bloody or dark stool. Treatment. The treatment may be non-surgical or surgical and depends on the underlying cause of the ulcer. Non-surgical treatments. If an ulcer is due to Helicobacter pylori infections, the doctor will prescribe antibiotics to help kill infections and proton pump inhibitors to block acid-producing cells. If Helicobacter pylori has been ruled out, proton pump inhibitors may be prescribed. This helps with blocking acid-producing cells. Other non-surgical treatment may include stopping all use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs, 
H2 receptor blockers that reduce acid production. Antacids. Bismuth supplements. For natural solutions, use complete phytoenergizer, colored use, living alkaline coffee. Surgical treatments. In rare cases where the ulcer bleeds, refuses to heal, continues to occur, or stops food from leaving the stomach, surgical treatment may be required. The surgery may include removal of ulcer, tying off the blood vessel, or cutting off the nerve that produces acid in the stomach. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.